Isometric circles are constructed in an isometric plane of 30 degrees, in other words, a rhombus. First, draw an isometric square, making sure that each side of the plane is equal in length, that is the height and the width should be the same. Now draw centre lines through the middle of each of the side of the plane. Label each of the corners A, B, C and D. Label each of the intersections of the edges with the centre lines as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now identify the obtuse angles B and D and mark it with an X. Now draw a construction line from corner B to point 3. Draw a construction line from corner B to point 4. Draw a straight line from the acute angles corner A to corner C. Now mark intersecting points O1 and O2. Now you are ready to make your first arc. With a compass draw an arc from point O1 and use the distance from O1 to 23. Now similarly draw an arc from point O2 to 14. Now for your big arcs. Draw an arc from B use the distance from B to 3 and 4 and again draw an arc from D use the distance from D to 1 and 2 and you should now have a near perfect ellipse. The thing to note about ellipses drawn uh, in this way is to notice that each opposite corners are quite different and if you to divide the actual circle into quadrants notice the distinction between each. When you understand this basic principle you'll be able to draw ellipses freehand trying to replicate this particular uh, differentiation between opposite corners or sizes of the quadrant. Ellipses can be created in two orientations, the vertical and the horizontal. The second method now we'll look at is uh, using a template to draw isometric ellipses. Now the uh, only restriction with isometric ellipses using a template is the, the sizes available to you. Uh, but it is extremely convenient. Um, let's begin. Let's have a look at these range of objects. All of them um, use isometric ellipses, whether they are cylinders, as in the example here, or uh, cones and spheres. All have the uh, the principle of an ellipse um, incorporated within them. We always start with a, uh, a box, a crate, um, with an isometric square drawn on either end, and then extruded. Now this technique uh, requires you understand the simple principle of um, isometric template ellipses. Uh, all of the ellipses are inscribed with a set of marks identifying the principal axes aligned with the same marks on an isometric square. So we have um, a, a line that will run from corner to corner and um, um, and then center lines that will run from side, the middle of the side to side. Now when we're drawing a vertical ellipse, uh, a vertical cylinder um, we only really require that we align our uh, template with the corners of that cube. So once you've uh, found an approximately right size ellipse, 
just inscribe it and um, you'll have a top and bottom and, and then you can align both sides of the ellipses to create yourself a cylinder. Now to draw ellipses on a cylinder on its side this requires a slightly different tact. The thing you have to be mindful of of drawing a, a cylinder on its side is that you need to change the orientation of the template to match the orientation of the isometric square. This means aligning the corners To complete the cylinder, run two parallel lines on either side of the ellipses.